will be taken. Door is shut, and there's still mid control being hung on to by a couple of more members of BVG. So again, they have ways to cut off rotations and really kind of funnel them all one way. Yeah, Dust, this this is a scary, scary might not be the right word, but it is a scary situation here because when you're in a straight up 5v5, chaos ensues, and that's where things can go sideways. But BVG seem to be holding them back just fine. Gur was able to get two really big picks there, and then they retreat back into the site. They've got all of their angles covered, and Box is going to have a really hard time getting back in there. Yeah, it doesn't seem likely Poach able to get one, but Rob was able to line it up there with the Spectre. So, Doug, this is going to be a heavy hit early, and oh boy, has it been shut down. <laughs> yeah, that operator early on in the hands of Ye, able to take care of Will. Now playing back in the smoke. Love that new skin, by the way. But look at Seb. Seb's in a great spot. He's able to get two faux trades it back out. But Ye, once again with the Operator, gets a second on the round. Both my gamers just down to foe. He swings, takes care of Android. It's a 1v3. He is paranoid here. Only has nine bullets left to work with. Spots two players. Poach takes care of him. And Boxer on the board. Indeed, you live. You can lull your, the opposing team into thinking that's where you're going to be, but you push away from that, and that's exactly where Ye is. He's able to get the opening pick yet again. Yes, it got traded out. The Operator is out of question. The Poach is a tight angle. Not even able to get one. His foe trades him out. Foe gets a second one as he continues to make room for Built by Gamers. The lockdown is going to be used as well to create even more space and box down one. That was a great counter from BBG. I mean, it was a nice bait and switch to have the Ye tucked into that wine corner to get the free op shot off. And he got the opening pick, but he could not dash away. Foe was able to catch him. If he could have gotten away, that could be a whole different story, but not the case. Foe with two big entries, a great lockdown to reinforce control of the site. And now Ambox stuck in a two versus three retake, and they are just getting chipped away at. They can make no forward progress yet. They're still trying, though. Yeah, it's just so tough, man. Getting tagged up already. The clock continues to tick away. It's going to have to be a unified push. They creep their way in. Your info, just as they take a step onto the site. Come down to this early skirmish, you have to feel. No early operator in the hands of Rob Wiz. The paranoia comes out and they fly their way in. Bjorn's going to use the lockdown to create even more space for built by gamers, but kills have already started to trade out left and right. Rob gets one. But Anbox seem to be holding things off just fine as they get two of their own. BBG's just down to three left. They have not fully gotten the site down quite the spike down, excuse me, quite yet. There it is, it's gonna go down. Anbox are gonna have a chance at the retake, but they're all gonna be coming in from CT. Yeah, that's the tough part about this, but boy is gonna try to change things and at least get in and get some information with the alt. At least get an idea on where players are playing at in some of these corners. So that helps out a little bit, but as you said, they're all coming from one area, which is gonna make this difficult. Gets punched for it, but there's Bjorn able to cause problems at least enough to delay things even more. There's Bo. Spots Ye going up, rips him down from the skies with the 3k. He does get darted, so he is kind of forced backwards a bit, but they still don't really know what they're up against. Oh, but they swim. And that was that dart, man. The dart was so punishing. Yeah, they didn't have the gun advantage, but they had information, and that was all they needed. Meanwhile, BBG have made their way onto A, but the problem wow. is for them, Android seems to be able to hold things off just fine as he gets to. BBG just down to two players left. Yes, they did get the spike down and a 2v5. Surely Inbox has, been, has managed to pick up a couple of weapons as well. Let's see just what they can do. Critical. Critical was able to get two. Yay trades one out. Bo from down low in hell gets one not able to get the last. It was interesting for just a moment, but Inbox will get the defuse. Android on that round because of that challenge. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that going forward. But oh no, there's the Omen Sova in play. And that's just so difficult to deal with. It was, Poach gets a pick early on. The operator swings out and they get one as well. BBG have shown aggression it, right in that specific spot time and time again. And the inbox says, all right, listen, we're not just going to use the hot hands anymore. Let's invest a bit more to, to keep that at bay. Yeah, good challenge here, though, from foe in middle. Takes down Android in back. Halls open up the mid control, opens up the option for it to be split here. Still the man advantage, though, for Ambox. And they already have their rotation coming in through defender spawns. So they're going to be in the right place at the right time. Ambox is doing a great job stalling and buying time for the rest of their team to get into place. And Poach is still entrenched on the side with the Odin for a frag. Able to turn it up and get one. Looking for the second, but he's going to get taken out at Bjorn. At the hands of Bjorn. Ye was still there. He's been holding that tight angle, but Bjorn swings not able to get anything other than that however critical has made his way onto the site the one problem for built by gamers here is that he doesn't have the spike 
Furthermore, Anbox knew exactly where it is. They're mm -hmm. pinging. They're, they're pinging right around it. This is a left. difficult thing for Critical here. He does have the Hunter's Fury. He does have a bit of utility here, right. but this is a tough spot nonetheless. Yeah, he's trying to creep up though. He might have a chance if he can find the first frag. There's the jet on the corner, and no, they were perfectly positioned to swing off of each other. Didn't really find a chance at a true one v one. Yeah, also worth noting, BBG doesn't have full guns. The paranoia misses, and Ye punishes him for it with the opening pick yet again onto Rob Wiz. There's a bit more utility there. The Hunter Fury is going to be able to clean things up or at least buy enough time for Foe to do damage with the Bulldog. BBG is still looking to try to get onto this A site. They have, it's a slight deficit in, in as far as personnel goes, but it's still there. Now, BBG does have a couple of ultimates to work with. They have that lockdown to try to clear some space. And the From the Shadows, you saw it already been used. He did get shot out. But they still have some options. That's a big pick for Bjorn too. Now they're gonna try to funnel onto the site. Boys like a turret and he gets a couple. Seb gets in on a little bit behind what I'm used to seeing, but there's still a lot of time left to play. Historically built by gamers are better on the defensive side. There's a good paranoia. Rob is goes in a little flash, a little dash, and a little opening pick, but he gets traded out down to four apiece. BBG continuing to push the matter as they swing across, but yay with the ghost gives them the nightmares that were the last thing they expected and box up one here in a 3v2. Yeah, that teleport was so clutch right there and it forced him to respect the new angles so he could focus his aim on one spot and it broke the A main right back open. Ye has to run it back. Ye did wind up using the blade storm later in the round, but not for the take itself. Oh my. It's just going from bad to worse for, for BBG <laughs> and Anbox have just for the last, what, seven rounds now? Anbox have just put on a clinic on how to play fundamentally sound, explosive ascent. It's yep. just, it's been unreal. Yeah, I mean, it's, they definitely like to play the aggressive play style, but at least they're using their abilities correctly to block off angles. They're spacing properly to make sure they can trade. Uh, they're flashing corners with the paranoia or nearsighting people to get space. You know, they're doing everything right and they're fragging out. And to be fair, BBG don't have much to work with this round. Gotta factor that into what just happened there. Your uh, peaks a little bit, gives him, gives him just a peek, and then backs off by some time. But as you mentioned, all he has is a stinger. Tries to go in a bit aggressively, try to catch him sleeping. Makes his way through the smoke. Uh, Not able to get one. Android gets him there with the vandal. I respect the thought process. He definitely did find a bit of a timing to slip in the smoke through the Nano Swarm, but yeah, it just didn't work. And now a player's been tagged up here in tree by the recon. Poach will clear that out. Five on two. A site taken. And man, at this point, I don't know what you do, but just kind of sit back and chill because this round's going to Anbox. Yeah, it's it's almost inevitable at this point. Ye gets another one. I think he's at 16,000 kills uh, on the map so far and just continuing to tally onto it time and time again. A 3K for him now. Just, I think we're Zay, and nobody's home. BBG are going to have to rotate over very quickly. Yeah, that's a big pick from Critical, but the action's on the other side of the map. The spike yep. is going to go down. BBG have to get there fast. Yeah, Ambox knew the pressure that they had caused had made a big rotation happen. With Ye seeing that player inside the Fender spawn running away from A slight and getting that pick, he knew that A was vulnerable, and they pounce on it. Now they have the 4 on 4 post play, but we do see that the lockdown's in play for the retake. Yeah, but the Hunter's Fury is there to, to really negate that, and that's exactly what happens. Critical is able to get onto Boy, however, with the Hunter's Fury of his own. BBG and his BBG, their will is able to spot one, cleans him up, swinging as they have know exactly where Ye is, but Ye through the smoke gets another one. They're going to try to stick the defuse, however, as Ye has to go in aggressive. He uses the blade storm, goes in aggressive, has four, drops things down to a 1v1. Critical trying to stick it. Ye misses the shots. Critical gets the kill, but is he going to get the defuse? No, he's not. And Ambox have just pushed him around. They're just now, I mean, really just a few moments away from, from trying to close this thing out. They've mm. put together a very impressive run. And as, as, as aggressive as they've been, they're playing this one a bit more cautiously. Android tries to swing, gets, tries to get a pick up the flash, but Critical gets the best of them. Will gets one as well. Okay, Huge. BBG have something going, but all right, never mind. <laughs> Boy says otherwise. Yeah, while we were seeing some good things from BBG over towards B and mid side, Boy and company able to tear open the A side. So again, it's just that split push kind of pressure. It's just too much to deal with all at once. The overwhelming force of Ambox. You don't stay. <laughs> they are indeed putting all their forces there. Wall is down the block off the ramps angle. We can see that there might be like a counter here. There is going to be the tremor, but still, we're seeing Ambox make some four progress. They lost a the player along the way. Yeah they, yeah, they do still have heaven control. 
as Handbox have been whittled down considerably already. Rob able to get one as well. Seb was super low on health. He drops. Bjork comes down from the top. Oftentimes, BBG is a good example where they they love to force up regardless of how round yep. one goes. Handbox not so much. The classic worked for one round, but Critical lights up the kill feed. It bleeds as BBG run through and by way into Will with a singer. The flash was there. The paranoia followed up as well. He still goes in aggressive, but he gets punished. Critical, however, does not as he adds another two onto his stat sheet and box just down to two players as well. Bro, I'm sitting here full cheese and off of that. BBG, that was so good by them. Yeah, that nade from Android cleared out mail, but only for a split second. BBG was keen on capturing that right back and looking to take the attack to Ambox. Deny them any type of comfort on giving them any type of real mid control. They took mid for themselves instead, took the duels, and they won their fights. That was well done by BBG. I love to see them playing aggressive defense right from the rip because you don't want Ambos to get comfortable and start dictating the pace. You want to take that away from them. And that was big. Now it's all on Poach and his teammate Sep here to try to bring this one back. They do have sight control of B. The spike is making its way in. Wall down to give Seb clearance to get the spike into position. But can they hold off this retake of three players? That is going to be a tough task. Poach is posturing over towards the defender side. Spawn to see if he can catch anybody on the rotation. Robles will be there, but it might take a bit. Oh, Critical might be getting to this. Poach was there. Critical gets him. There's just one left. And it's Seb. He's sitting on the site. He's got the camera to try to give him some information. But he's in a brutal spot here. The one solace, if there were to be, is that BBG has a couple of weak members. Seb. Oh, creeping his way around, able to get one. Give him the second. He's dropped things down to 1v1. Critical trying to stick the defuse as Seb plays ring around the Rosie with him. Around the pillar. Critical's there. Seb clutches it out, baby. He gets the 3k. See how they want to play this out. See them all stacked up. In B lobby, slowly creeping their way forward. Got a little set piece going on. There's a the flash that's going to push Critical back. The paranoia comes through as well. Bjorn's still able to get one. As Critical tries to stay alive. They funnel onto the site. Critical gets taken out at the hands of Poach. There was a showstopper out of Will and the Rolling Thunder that we talked about earlier. They're committing to this site, knowing that they didn't have the gun advantage, and they're investing everything they can to make sure that it's secured. They've also taken a ton of space. Look at how far raise, how far up raises, holding down anyone coming in from heaven now it's on bbg knowing that they've lost control of the site what can they do will able to get one but android in a position to certainly be the problematic difference maker and that's exactly what he is and box get early but then they pulled off which was just very very well played but now once again, we're seeing Anbox trying to make something happen over by A, but Rob lighting the kill feed up again. A strong start, much like we saw on Ascent. That was brilliant. Android, though, satcheling his way to try to take space at A as quick as he can. He catches Bo on the elbow position. Rob Wish strikes back with the operator, but only just shortly. Poach is quick to respond. And now we see a three-on-three -three post plant ensuing. There is the lockdown, though, from Bjorn for the retake. He is going to go ahead and use that in a 3v3 scenario. Anbox does have the showstopper to work with. There's the showstopper. He's going to try to get some room, clear some space up in heaven. But Bjorn hits him with the sucker punch. He doesn't even get a chance to use it. Seb drops as well. The lockdown invest. Ham on B heaven clears it. Oh, but Rob's going to get a chance. He's just around the corner. He hears the flashes popping. Smoke's going to go. Oh, the paranoia. Oh, the smoke. It was the smoke. Excuse me. It just. Just doesn't pop in time, but it doesn't matter. Critical there on the one side of the smoke. The snap was filthy as Poach and Boy drop. Seb does as well. The round falls apart. BBG that round. Rob not going to be playing on that contact point uh, with the operator, but it doesn't matter because Critical and Will just stop it. Didn't it's tracks? They stuff the push and it's just down to yay. Yeah, that was just the straight up guy going for a dunk. And someone just packed it right in his face. That's what you saw there. And I think we're going to learn a, a lot about both of these squads here in this round. Ooh. But I'm going to hold that thought because Poach with the Frenzy is just able to stop it again. It was a stuff, but in the opposite direction. They tried to flash and dash, blast pack their way in, and nothing was doing. Poach getting tacked up. He's got the Frenzy. That's three on the round for him. His BBG are just down to really scraps at this point. Dude, it looked like Will's net got taken off by a clothesline when he tried to jump through that ramp position in the site. I mean, this absolutely straight shut down here from Ambox. They are taking no mercy against their opposition here. They are just coming through and through. A couple of another flawless victory, and indeed it will be. Molly.
We know how explosive they can be. We know how assertive Rob Wiz can be. But it's about making it come to fruition. As they do get some nice pressure onto A ramps, they're starting to threaten A Heaven as well. Poach is here though, playing the corner with the Phantom, does find Rob Wiz, so that ground is being denied, and Poach is not done yet. He's found another. Might get a chance at a third, but no, Bjorn gets to jump on him with the stinger and takes him out, but Timing. of course, as I say, that gets unfortunate timing as he gets cleaned up <laughs> at the hands of android the spark is the spike is cleaning or is starting to work its way onto b but android once again stops it seb gets caught as well a three are starting to rotate over keep an eye on bjor on the minimap depending on how long this takes he could prove to be the difference maker but for now the spike has gone down on a indeed it has a tough retake now for ambox but they are a man up no real alts in play, to be honest. Yeah, from the shadows is an option, but doesn't really seem like it would be useful here than an information. And indeed, we will try to use it to get that information or maybe a new angle. Bior, as you said, up for a good kill, up for a second, but now he has to do everything. And it's just too much to handle, too many balls to juggle. And that's Fuck is up in heaven, right? Like getting onto the site and is fine, but if you don't have heaven control, it's not gonna matter. Bior. Patience from Bjorn. Yeah, he gets one. Looking to get a second. He gets it with the Stinger. They are going to have some room to get on to B. The Spike is going to go over there as well. Boy, with the Phantom, oh, he gets no. timed as well. Bjorn also picked up a weapon. The Spike is going to drop BBG. Have a shot at this thing. They're also going to invest the lockdown. So there's a, there's a, there's a chance here. Oh, my. I think BBG have sealed this. I think Bjorn has absolutely done it. I, I thought he could have impact, but I couldn't have foreseen him doing that much. This is wild. But it looks like Ambox want to try to make something happen anyway. They're going to try to push into this thing. They do have some Neural Theft if they're able to get one. Got one, got second. There's some Neural Theft. It's Bjorn alone, who had the heroics to get them to this point. Is going to have to finish it off by himself. In a 1v1, he swings and he gets the ace, baby. Bjorn keeps BBG alive. It's basically ropes or, or A heaven. That's about all their options are. And even then, those two options are not good. You really are picking poison, in a sense. Uh, here, if you're BBG, you see Will has blasted his way towards the back of the site. Members of Ambox are starting to creep in and rotate over. Sab on the other side of smoke. Nice snap onto Huge. Will. But Bjorn looks like he might be able to get the plant down. It was very close there, but didn't pull it off. Oh, Poach. Poach oh just my. narrowly sees the shoelace of critical and takes care of him. He's got the ban. What a shot. Onto Poach and he and he retreats back to safety. He's gonna drop the alarm bot as well to give him some space to give him some cover. BBG have a chance here. That rolling thunder though is a difference maker. They use it to push in rapidly. They get the kills quickly and that. And now we're gonna see the acid drop down there as well. So they get to slow down a bit. But Rob Wiz had heaven early and finds a great opening kill on Angel. Rob, that's a big pick. Not able to get the second. However, they drop one apiece but the spike is starting to funnel in towards B. There's the paranoia. They're going to blast pack their way across. Coach manages That's to stay huge. alive, and he gets a big pick as well. Yeah, it got traded out, but that buys enough time for the resource of resources of Ambox to start to rotate over. Critical on the plant. Boy swings. Boy gets one. It got traded out as well, but it's Ye who takes care of Will. It's just down to Bjorn. The hero time and time again. What does he have left in the tank? Eight bullets. He's got plenty of armor, plenty of health. He has 30 seconds to work. Well, that's a big pick. He gets one. Drops things down to a 1v1. He's got a chance here. So push just thinking into overtime. Spots the shots, but no. Yay keeps him back. Andbox takes the series 2-0.